Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at some basic transactions. So what we'll do is we'll turn to the register position and we'll just press the clear button to get rid of any uh, previous transactions. So now that we've set up the departments and the receipt header and so on, we can go ahead and take some transactions. So let's say, for example, a salad roll for $6 and we put that on food, which was on department one. And then someone buys um, two drinks, for example. So let's say they are two dollars fifty each. We type in two five zero times two units, and we put it on drinks. As you can see, if we just move it up, food is six dollars, two dollars fifty on drinks. We hit subtotal is twenty six. Then we take $40 from the customer, hit cash, and as you can see the GST is calculated. In the next transaction we're going to do a simple receipt on or off. Now a lot of customers may not want to print a receipt every time so all you need to do is hit the receipt on off button here and that toggles on or off. So if you press it once it will be off. So if I go ahead and do another transaction, as you can see the receipt printer does not advance. There's another item, another item, hit subtotal, $20, the receipt printer is off. Okay. Now to turn it back on, we'll just clear that transaction. To turn it back on, simply press it again enter transactions and the printer is back on okay subtotal twenty dollars there we go food drinks coffee change and the receipt printer is back on when you do make a mistake or there is an error or you want to clear something just hit the clear button that will generally get rid of the previous transaction um, and you can start again. Um, the charge button is used for FPOS transactions and the cash button is used to finalize a transaction or when they are using um, cash. Um, generally they, they are the keys that you would use uh, most of the time for most of your daily transactions.